team, you may start whenever you're ready. Growing up in Guangdong, China, I used to get sick twice a year from drinking polluted water. Current filtration solutions can turn water from this to this. But what if I tell you it might still contain E. coli? Would you drink it? The invisible pollutants are the deadliest killers. Every two minutes, a child dies due to water pollution. Agricultural pesticides, bacteria, and viruses are killing millions of people every single year. Our solution? At Old Cotton, we invent new materials called photocatalysts. These powders, when put to contaminated water, exposed to any light source, can turn this dirty water into clean, clear, drinkable water within 30 minutes. With seven years of R&D, we developed a patented process which uses AI and quantum chemistry to discover new materials. We then manufacture them and sell to water organizations. We've already discovered eight patent-pending materials, each of them cleaning different types of toughest contaminants, from chemical pollutants such as DDT to biological pathogens such as E. coli and cholera. With these eight materials alone, we can already prevent 3.5 million deaths every single year. But we know that we can and we will do more. This is water from the River Thames. This, this is the same water from River Thames 28 minutes after we added our material. Mmm, tasty. <laughs> now, imagine if the Paris Olympics gave us 1.5 billion euros to clean the river Seine. Our materials are two times cheaper, they don't require electricity, they are reusable, and they are more effective than anything on the market. For global scale applications, we turn our powders into coatings on surfaces of already existing filters, reactors, and river cleaning mesh. We sell them directly to water organizations, yielding 70% margin on every sales. And our customers, filtration companies, water kiosk franchises, and water aid organizations. We tested our technology for two months in Kenya, where we've proven it's safe for human consumption. We are currently executing three pilots. One with one of the largest filtration companies in the world, called Puribag, which requested 10,000 units to be coated with our materials. They liked our technology so much, they requested additionally 100,000 units. We are also working in Homa Bay, Kenya, where we are cleaning 1.7 million liters of water with water kiosk. And our third uh, pilot is cleaning the River Este in South Africa. With these three pilots alone, we are generating $1.8 million revenue. We are talking with 30 additional prospects. Our partnerships are with big names such as UNESCO. We raised over $650,000. Our first investor, Alexis Ohanian, the founder of Reddit. We've presented our technology at the UN, G20. We've been featured by Forbes. We are the team to build X atoms. At 17, I discovered my first material, winning the world's most prestigious water award. Our CTO, Keram, computer engineer, has been coding for the past nine years. And our CEO, Shirley, has both software and business background and grew up without access to safe water. We are advised by world class scientists such as Professor Jeffrey Olsen, the father of nanochemistry. $1 million from Holt Price is going towards completing our three pilots, expanding to four more countries. Our current investors have decided to match this $1 million to amplify our impact even further. We are going to generate at least $17 million revenue within the next four years and clean water for 3.7 million people. 4.4 billion people still lack access to clean and safe drinking water with X atoms. Let's make it zero. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, ex Adams. Great job. Judges, now it's up to you. Does anyone have a first question? Please, Najla. Thank you. Um, two questions. One, on the patent itself and where you stand over there. And second, whether you need any regulatory approval to be selling these products. I can answer the first part regarding patent. We applied to patent in Canada and the US through our lawyers. 
Um, this is still a publishing patent, and then it surely can talk more about the regulations. On the regulation side, we are getting NSF licensing, which is approved in 12 different countries, including all the countries of our current operations. Please. Um, the water industry is very conservative, as you know, and that also is your great opportunity. But you want to partner with those filtration companies. How are you doing that? How are you convincing them to work with you? We're convincing them through our partnerships. Currently, we're partnering with such as UNESCO, which introduced us to three LOIs already, and that proves our success. We also go to conferences such as Plug and Play, which introduced us to big clients, as well as um, G20, um, which lent us 30 prospects. How easy is it to reverse engineer your chemicals and filters and uh, give up your competitive advantage? So in terms of reverse engineering our chemicals, it's quite hard to do in terms of in a large scale. Our process is patented, and our, uh, the process itself, coating is patented as well in terms of making the manufacturing. Even if they reverse engineer the material in terms of molecules, they wouldn't be able to produce it as the whole process uh, under patent. And we have... Uh, direct uh, regulations regarding how much should it be coated, how much should it be, should it be applied, to the dilution levels. There is no way to guess all those specific details just from the molecular structure. Uh, great pitch. Uh, can you take us through your revenue model? Yes. So we sell B2B to water organizations, and specifically how we do it is um, we do it through, we, we sell it once first, and then they apply a coding, but they come back to us every single year because the coding stated clearly in the contract is only lasted for one year. So we get reoccurring revenue from our clients. How scalable is the solution from a glass like this to real quantities? How scalable? How scalable? I mean, uh, are you asking the scalability in terms of from a lab? On the, to on the volumes. From going from a small volume to bigger quantity. So in terms of scalability, we don't have any limitations. Because, for example, for water kiosks, if we want to scale up the process, we can just introduce more filtration units. So in terms of scaling up from small to large volume, there's no limitations in terms of technology, as the technology just relies on uh, any light source exposure. And in terms of scaling from a lab to a chemical uh, factory for mass production, we are already discussing that, and it's feasible. Uh, why Kenya? Why did you choose Kenya? We are working with an organization called Wavemakers United, which is one of the largest youth life organizations when it comes to water. And they introduce us to our partners there. And we are working with a water ATM, which sells water to, uh, to the s uh, people in, s in the, some of the slums and some of the areas where people don't have access to safe water. Yeah. And also our materials can eliminate the pollutants that are currently uh, killing the people in Kenya, uh, such as E. coli and cholera. We patented them, and that's why we are able to uh, focus on those areas. Um, just to keep going, what's success look like to you? What do you want to achieve? You want to become the world's leading water tech company. X Adams, your time is up. <laughs>